Well, most of us enjoy a drink every now and again. Maybe it helps you relax after a hard day. Check. You uh, like your wine with your meals. Check. <laughs> and uh, you enjoy a cocktail with your friends. Yes, indeed. But when it comes to alcohol, how many of us really know how much is too much? And what's the difference between alcohol dependence and alcohol abuse. Dr. Karm is here with the answers. Good to have you here, Dr. Karm. Thank you. So what is alcohol abuse? Alcohol abuse is when you are drinking and there are negative effects of it. Could be interpersonal, your spouse or significant other gets upset with you, you get pulled over by the cops for having a DUI. There's something negative, but you continue to do it anyway. Alcohol dependence is a whole different deal. Okay. And that has different characteristics that go to it. They're, they're, it's, it's definitely more serious. And we like to use um, CAGE, C-A-G-E. And if you have three of these four I'm going to mention, then you probably are dependent. Okay, what are these? Okay, what so does C CAGE, stand for? C is a craving. So, you know when we say at the end of the day, boy, I could really use a drink? Uh-oh. Okay, this is totally different. Okay. This is like, I, I have to have that drink or I literally cannot go on. Okay. I cannot get on, on without it. And in fact, I'm starting to shake. I'm starting to get sweaty. I, I don't feel well okay. without the drink. Got so gotcha. C is craving. Uh, a is anger. You drink, people get angry at you. Mm. And so that's very different than going and having a glass of wine with dinner and everyone is, you know, happy. And so anger, A. G is guilt. After you drink, you're very guilty the next day. Mm. And E is an eye opener. Now, many of us, this I think this one is one of the most important because I've never, even in college, gone on a bender <laughs> and then the next morning said, hey, I really have to have a beer. <laughs> so an eye opener is what you need the next day. I am so happy to say I never felt like having a beer the next day. There or, you go. Or anything okay. for that matter. Then you're all right. Stick with your wine. Whew, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. But there are quite a few women out there that are binge yes. drinking. Yes, they Does are. Does that mean they're abusing alcohol? or they're dependent on alcohol? Well, it could be either. Right. And I think the most important thing is to gain awareness. So it's one out of eight women now are binge drinking, which is four or more drinks at one sitting. Mm. Yes. And because we have more fat than muscle mass, like men have more muscle mass, mm -hmm. the alcohol is not absorbed into the fat, so it gets into the bloodstream faster. I mean, literally, I can have a half a glass of wine and I have a buzz going on. Everybody right. laughs at me, but come on. <laughs> You're a cheap you know, drunk. <laughs> I'm a cheap date is what I am. So, so yes, so we have to really be careful because two, two glasses of wine to us is different than two glasses to our male uh, friend. Right. And how much do you recommend we have if we're going to drink? For at women, all? it is one glass per day. Mm -hmm. One glass per day. Anything over that is you're 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 probably imbibing too much. And you're not talking about that humongo goblet. We're no, talking about the usual measurements <laughs> of alcohol, which is like four ounces. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so all right, let's say you you fit the description of either an alcohol yes. abuser or your alcohol dependent. Right. Alcoholics Anonymous is not necessarily the answer for everyone. Right. There are actually other groups that have formed really in the last two decades. And the difference between Alcoholics Anonymous, who ha they have helped a lot of people, yes. is that they um, really have a philosophy of powerlessness over alcohol, which a lot of people don't want to really go to. They, they kind of feel like, no, I can really control this. So that doesn't appeal to them. And the other thing is Alcoholics Anonymous um, really depends on a higher power. Mm -hmm. So if you don't believe in God or a higher power, that's not going to be for you. No. No. So these other ones, it's interesting that they don't have those two factors, uh -huh. but they all have abstinence for the first month. Okay. And then after that, they reinduce, they reintroduce alcohol but it's with the self-monitoring hmm. it's sort of like it reminded me of Weight Watchers for huh. for people who abuse alcohol do you remember any of the names of these organizations yes, I actually do there is one called moderation management uh -huh. there's one called hams harm reduction abstinence and moderation support and another one called smart recovery self-management and recovery training and all of those really help people, but they do it in a very different way than Alcoholics Anonymous. All right. Well, Dr. Karm, great, great advice. And uh, we will put that on our website as well, well good. for anybody who's interested and who needs some help out there. Yes, absolutely. Awareness the most important thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.